Uh, my name is Horacio Cabral. I'm an associate professor at the Department of Bioengineering at the University of Tokyo. I'm from Argentina and I've been uh, working here for more than 15 years. I've been working in, in the field of nanomedicine, uh, which is uh, the study of nanoscale materials. We aim to develop new types of nanomedicines for the treatment of uh, intractable diseases. To prepare our uh, nanomedicines, we develop new types of uh, polymer, and uh, these polymers are synthesized in a very controlled manner so that we can get high quality materials that will be used to self-assemble. Once we construct our nanomedicines and we characterize them, we study the stability of the nanomedicines in different conditions. Uh, we also study the activity of the nanomedicines, for example, to kill uh, cancer cells or to reduce uh, specific proteins in the disease uh, cells. One unique characteristic of our nanomedicines is that we can control the size. This size control is quite advantageous for treating pancreatic cancer because pancreatic cancer has a very dense collagen network which prevents the penetration of drugs. We can develop nanomedicines that are small enough to penetrate into the pancreatic tumor and achieve very effective treatments against the disease. Uh, some of these formulations have actually translated uh, into human clinical trials and are being studied in Japan and also overseas. Currently, there are 15 students in my lab. Uh, half of them is foreigner, half of them is from Japan. And they belong to different research areas, including materials engineering, chemical engineering, pharmacy, medical school. So each one provides a unique viewpoint to the nanomedicine problem. For many years, we have been focusing on developing nanomedicines for cancer treatment. And now we are starting to explore treatment of brain diseases, such as uh, Alzheimer's disease or uh, diabetes, which are a major struggle for many patients around the world. So by designing new type of treatments, we will benefit uh, humanity uh, in the near future.